Hello again Onky Tonks. Now if you're suffering from a bad back then this video is dedicated to you. Uh, if you're deficient one time spine then it's not. There are other channels for that so bugger off over there. Now I have a bad back, a really bad back. It's got to the point now where my physiotherapist doctor has told me the only strenuous thing you can do or I can do is take short walks. So here I am taking advantage of making walkie talkies. Freedom Dad 73 will be happy. <laughs> now, Keir Starmer. Keir Starmer, I told you, didn't I? There's something about the guy nearly every day now. I told you yesterday there'll be something about him today. There'll be something about him tomorrow. And this will go on and on and on until he addresses it or uh, the guy's chucked out as Prime Minister, which will happen. I promise you that's going to happen. The writing's on the wall. From what I'm reading on social media, if you're not on X or Twitter, I bring it to you here so you so you know if you're interested. So anyway, <laughs> it's transpired that Keir Starmer, during lockdown, uh, moved into Lord Ali's home and he circumnavigated lockdown rules in order to do so. Remember, this is the same fella while he was leader of the opposition pushing for uh, more strenuous more strict lockdown rules. Meanwhile, him and his wife wanted to live uh, a life of luxury, so Lord Ali gave him his 18 million pound property for them to live in for a while during lockdown. I mean, while well, you and I had to stay home, not go to work, not earn money, businesses lost money, uh, pubs lost customers. Uh, it was just a horrendous time. Meanwhile, Keir Starmer took advantage circumnavigated and uh, went to live in a mansion or a, a penthouse, whatever it was, for a couple of weeks or a couple of months with his wife. Took some of his property there with him. And that's where five or so days after the Tories implemented Plan B, uh, he made his 2021 Christmas message, which was aired in December of that year. What a shyster, what a liar, what a fraudster, what a corrupt individual, I mean, I know the Tories were corrupt, that's a given, but they've paid for it. They're not in government anymore. They paid the ultimate punishment by uh, being voted out of office, uh, being cast out of Downing Street, out of government, out of cabinet. They're gone. Uh, some people may think they need to be in court, charged and jailed. Well, good luck with that. These people are as slippery as they come. And most of them are barristers and lawyers anyway, so, you know. <laughs> ah, dear me. Anyway. This corruption runs deep now with Keir Starmer, Lord Ali and Labour. Like I said, we're being drip fed information. Uh, there's new revelations every day of who took money, how much. What we do know is that Lord Ali, of course, wanted a top security pass into Downing Street and he wanted to pick and choose candidates for the last general election. So why would he give him Keir Starmer, his penthouse or mansion, an 18 million pound luxury property to live in. You tell me, there's something going on here, I'm telling you. And there's big news, apparently, there's a big reveal on its way, if I'm reading social media correctly, regarding Keir Starmer. Now, there's also rumours that he's going to be out by Tuesday, but I doubt that very much. Like I told you about socialists and Marxists, you have to pry them out of power. It won't be easy. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy is power hungry. He wants control. He said in his speech, he wants more government control over people's lives. I mean, where have you heard that before? I'll tell you where. North Korea, Soviet Russia, anywhere where communism has spread its cancer and Keir Starmer's spreading it here. I, I don't want that. I want less government. I want less government interference and I want more freedoms. I mean, that's the only way a, a freedom-loving Western democracy can move forward. But this is just making everything stagnant or backwards, in my opinion, I think. What do you think? This is crazy. This whole thing is crazy. But one thing's for sure. Keir Starmer's going down uh, for this because, judging about the way he does politics, remember, he threw Lindsay Hoyle under the bus, didn't he, to change parliamentary procedure and he'll do the same to Lord Ali he will throw Lord Ali under the bus and then Lord Ali will take him down with him 
And that's when we'll know the full extent of why money was exchanging hands. Why Keir Starmer accepted money for clothes, spectacles, a safe space for his son, £20,000 property, and now this uh, circumnavigating with rules to live in Lord Ali's house for a few months or a few weeks, whatever it was. But whatever it is, it's all wrong. And like I said yesterday, the security services really need to look into this now. They really need to start digging and find out what the hell's going on, what Lord Ali received and what Keir Starmer gave to him. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. And that's that. I'm past 49. Thanks for watching as ever. And until the next time, Roger Trout.